So we know how to take the determinant of a 2 by 2 and a 3 by 3 matrix, but we need to generalize that to, to take a determinant of an n by n matrix. So um, one of the generalizations is called the Laplace expansion. Um, we can actually use that to define the, the determinant. But uh, let's look at the 3 by 3 result and then uh, see how we can write that in another way so that we can uh, generalize it to n by n matrices. So look at the 3 by 3 matrix, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I'll use the notation here of uh, vertical bars, like absolute uh, value signs, that um, is used uh, to denote the determinant of a matrix. Um, remember our trick, so we do diagonal elements. So this is A, E, I, plus B, F, G, plus C, D, H. That's uh, from uh, upper left to lower right. And then minus C, E, G, minus B, D, I, minus A, F, H. So that's our 3 by 3 determinant. And um, we can factor this in a very nice way that then generalizes to uh, n by n matrices. Um, if we take the A, so there are two terms that have an A in them. So we factor out the A. Then we have an EI minus FH. Okay. And then we can factor out a B, so we're going basically going across the first row of the matrix, so we factor out an A, then we can factor out a B. Um, because I know what the answer is, I'm going to factor out a B, but I'm going to call that a minus B. So minus B, then the first term would be DI, and the second term would be FG, so minus FG. So it's plus B, F, G, right? And then the last term factors out a C. So there's two terms with a C. And that one I'll give a plus sign. So C and then a D, H minus E, G. OK? Um, so what is this expression? This uh, A is multiplying EI minus FH, EI minus FH. This um, EI minus FH is the um, determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, right? So this is A times the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So if we write this, this is A times the determinant of this matrix, EF h i, right? And then d i minus f g, d i minus f g is the determinant of another 2 by 2 matrix. So this is minus b times the determinant of d f uh, g i. Right? So this is di minus fg, the determinant of that matrix. And the last one is plus c. And dh minus eg is the determinant of degh matrix. OK? So we've re rewritten the 3 by 3 determinant so that it's um, three terms. And each term has a 2 by 2 determinant. Uh, where did these 2 by 2 determinants come from? Well, in the first one, we, ha we start with A, the second one B, and the second one C. So we're going across the first row. And then we have an A. If we remove the first row and the first column, then we're, we're left with the matrix E, F, H, I. And that's what we're taking the determinant of. In the second term, we uh, start with a B. And if we remove the first row again and then remove the second column, 
then we have d, f, g, i. So the first column is there in the second term here, but we, we remove the second column because b is in the second column. And then the last term, c, we remove the first row that c is in, and then remove the third column, and then we have the matrix d, e, g, h. So that's the third term, okay? And that absolutely generalizes to an n by n matrix. And um, this technique of going across the first row and then removing the first row in the first column, removing the first row in the second column, removing the, third row, uh, the first row in the third column, et cetera, all across an n by n matrix, that generalizes, okay? So the only thing that's tricky here is that we have a plus, a minus, and a plus sign. Um, that comes about, I can um, draw that, let's see, I can put that here. That comes about uh, by alternating signs as you go across the row. So as you go across the first row, you just need to remember that you have a plus sign, and then a minus sign, and then a plus sign, and then a minus sign, et cetera, okay? Um, but this Laplace expansion generalizes further. So I showed you going across the first row, but actually it also works going across the second row. It also works going across the third row. And even more than that, it also works going down the first column, going down the second column, and going down the third column. So you have complete freedom which row you want to go across or which column you want to go down. And you reduce the cal calculation here of a 3 by 3 determinant to several 2 by 2 determinants. Here, three 2 by 2 determinants. But if you have a uh, four by four or five by five determinant, you reduce the level of the determinant by, by one dimension um, uh, of the matrix. So this is across the first row. Across the second row, it would be minus, plus, minus, plus. And across the third row, it would be plus, minus, plus, minus. And then you would just have this checkerboard pattern. Okay, so that's how you determine the signs of the terms. Okay, um, I think it's a good idea to work in an example. So let's do that now. So let's find the determinant of a uh, specific matrix. So here is the matrix. So let's find the determinant of this matrix. We're going to use a Laplace expansion. So the easiest way you know, to do this is to look for the row or the column that has the most zeros. So this, um, the number that you pull out when you do the expansion, if it's a zero, then that term doesn't contribute and you don't have to do any work. Okay? So uh, there is one column here that has all zeros except one number. So that's the column we want to do the Laplace uh, expansion in. So that's this one, the second column. So we have one term. So we need to know what the sign of that term is. So we can go plus, minus, plus, and minus. Remember the checkerboard starting from the top, plus, minus, plus, minus. So that term gets a minus. And that's a uh, factor here is the 2. And then we have the resulting uh, matrix. So remember, we're pulling from 2. So we have to delete that row and that column. So the remaining matrix then is uh, 3 by 3. We reduce from 4 by 4 to 3 by 3. And that's a 1, 0, minus 1, 3, 0, 5, delete the third row, 
and 1, 5, 0. Okay? So now we've reduced the uh, 4 by 4 determinant to one number times a 3 by 3 determinant. Again, we want to do the uh, 3 by 3 determinant. Um, we can use our, you know, our result, but I'm going to do this by a Laplace expansion. So again, I look for the column or the row with the most zeros. Again, it's the second column, so I'm going to go down this one, right? And then there's only one factor, which is 5. So is it plus or minus? We go plus, minus, plus, minus. It's a minus 5. So a minus 5 times a minus 2 gives us a plus 10. And because it's, uh, we're doing this 5, we have to eliminate this row. And we end up now with a 2 by 2 matrix, which will be 1, minus 1, 3, and 5. OK? And we're almost done. I think when you get to 2 by 2 matrices, uh, you might as well just do that. So the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix is 1 times 5. 5 minus negative 3. 5 minus negative 3 is 8. 10 times 8. And we get our answer, which is 80. Okay? So this is the determinant of this 4 by 4 matrix. So a lot of students, uh, if they're doing this type of exercise for exams, say, this is kind of a preferred method of uh, computing determinants using the Laplace expansion. OK, so let me recap. We're trying to generalize the determinant to an n by n matrix. I show you using the 3 by 3 matrix that the um, determinant that we talked about in the last video can be written as a sum of uh, products time determinants of 2 by 2 matrices. You can obtain the, this, this, this uh, series of terms by going, down, going across any row of this matrix or going down any column of this matrix and uh, eliminating the row and the column that the factor is on and then multiplying by the, re the remaining n minus 1 by n by minus 1 uh, matrix determinant. Okay? And you just have to remember which terms get plus signs, which terms get minus signs. The useful mnemonic here is this checkerboard uh, pattern uh, that you write inside of a matrix. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.